You know, there's something that I have noticed on YouTube. It seems that every time a couple of people don't agree on any subject whatsoever, be it religion, politics, or you have it, somebody will get up and they'll say, meet me live, we'll have a debate about this. And my thinking is, yeah, why? Okay? Now, here's why I say that. I remember when I was back in grade school, they were teaching us how to have a debate. And they put us on a couple of different teams. Well, my team took it seriously. Uh, we had the position that was hardest to defend, so we took a lot of time to think about all the counter arguments and look up the resources, practice, get our act together, and we came to the debate prepared to kill bear. But the other team had the easy to de defend position, and they just took it for granted everybody would agree with them, and they didn't do any work. Well, as it came out, we won the debate, hands down. Now, I've got to ask you something. Did that make our position right? Hell no. Our position was wrong. We only defended it because it was our assignment to defend it. So, my question is, what if they do have a debate? What if one side wins hand down? Does that make their side right? No, it doesn't. It makes them better prepared. It makes them perhaps more experienced with public speaking. It makes them more capable of showing their point of view on camera, but it does not make them right. Debates prove nothing. Now, if two people are in dispute, I'll tell you what I'd rather have. I'd rather have them prepare their argument, take some time and thought, make a video, put up their point of view, and have the other person respond with counterpoints from another video that they have taken time to prepare and think about. And that gives the audience time to consider the arguments presented. These live debates don't mean anything to me, and I don't think that just because someone refuses a debate means that they're cowardly. I don't think that it means that they can't pre uh, present a good argument for their point of view. Sometimes I think it means they're smart and that they know their own limitations and that they know that they will do better if they prepare in advance and present their argument in a logical way without interruption. So, as far as these uh, people out there saying, meet me live and I'm going to debate you and I'll show what a fool you are. You know what? That's just plain stupid. It just plain and simply is. And I just wanted to mention that because, frankly, I'm tired of people challenging somebody else to a debate and if the other person doesn't want to debate, they think they won the argument. They didn't win the argument. They didn't win the argument at all. What they showed is that they have confidence that they can present themselves better on camera than the other guy. And that sure as heck does not mean that what they say is right. As Sam thinks, debate challenges are silly. 